Hi, welcome back to Maria's Kitchen. I am so excited to be here. It's 2022 and it's time to save money. Today I'm going to show you how to do a copycat Starbucks egg bites. And we're going to save so much money. It's probably going to cost us under a dollar. And I think you drive through Starbucks and they're $5.95 for just two of them. So I'll be right back to go over the ingredients. The very first thing you're going to need, of course, is a cupcake pan, or if you choose to use a silicone pan. You'll need some kind of spray to grease the pan, and you'll need sour cream. You'll need cottage cheese, four eggs, four large eggs, salt, pepper, and hot sauce of your choice. Milk and half a cup of shredded cheese. And these are just the additions that you can put in your egg bites. I've got crumbled bacon here, some spinach, some tomatoes, some jalapenos, and diced bell peppers, and of course my favorite, chili seeds. The very first thing you're going to do before we get started is grease your muffin or cupcake pan, whichever one you're choosing. I did mine with Crisco all vegetable oil, but you can use the oil of your choice. The first thing we're going to do is put four eggs into the magic bullet. I'm using a magic bullet or you can use a blender if you'd like. Second thing is one tablespoon of whole milk or milk of your choice. The next thing we're putting is a fourth teaspoon of salt. A fourth teaspoon of pepper. Ooh, I love pepper. And then we're gonna put one tablespoon of sour cream. Got the sour cream in there. We're putting one tablespoon of cottage cheese. And I've got all that. And the last thing we're going to put is the cup of shredded cheese, just a half a cup. And I'm using sharp cheddar. The last thing was one tablespoon of hot sauce. Now I have to tell you, I'm using Old Bay. I'm using what I have. You can use what you have. Believe me, I want you to listen. This is not going to be spicy in no way, shape, or form. So put it in. You're going to absolutely love it. I'm going to blend it in my Nutribullet and I'll be right back. It's all done. I did it about a minute and look how smooth. So I'm going to start assembling. I already cut and fried some bacon. Now I'm going to put this at the bottom. I'm going to make three with bacon and then I'll make three just with some vegetables. So it all depends how much bacon you want. I like a lot of bacon, but a I'll just... A lot. I know, I like a lot, but we're going to put some more on top, so I'll just put that there for now. So the next thing we're going to do is you're going to measure out four tablespoons. One, two, three, four. And that is your marker. So we're going to do four tablespoons for each one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Taking a quick break. I'm going to have some orange juice. Mm. And let's finish these up. So I'm going to put in some shredded sh spinach. I'm going to put spinach in two of them, I guess. And then... I'm going to put a couple of grape tomatoes that I sliced in fours. And then this last one's gonna be mine and you already know what I'm putting in. I'm putting a bunch of chopped jalapenos. I wanted this so much, this one's mine. And then I'm gonna put some chopped red bell peppers and then I guess no you're gonna you're gonna go oh my goodness I'm putting more chili seeds <laughs> you don't have to do that but I did so time to go into the oven we're gonna do it at 350 preheat your oven to 350 and we're gonna do it anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes we just want to make sure the center is set and look how beautiful and gorgeous those look now I'm gonna go back and put more for the cheese lovers I'm going to put more cheese, a little tiny bit more on top, a little bit. I want the beautiful colors to show, so that's it. 
So here they are. They took actually 13 minutes. So I'm going to let them sit there for maybe a few minutes and then we'll scoop them right out and I'll put them on a plate. I let them cool for just a couple of minutes. They should come right out. Look at this. There was just a little bit left at the bottom, but it's fine. But it came out beautiful. Look at that. How gorgeous they look. I'm going to get the rest out and I'll be right back. They are all done and I'm about to get one to eat. And you know which one I'm getting, mindful of jalapenos. But here they are. It made six with this batch that I made. And these are perfect to put in a small Tupperware container and take to work or lunch. And they're great for snacks. I took a bite already and it is absolutely delicious. I wanna thank you so much for spending time with Maria's Kitchen 2022. I will be back with more healthy recipes and I will be back with the scripture of the day. You have a good day. God is great. What joy for those whose strength comes from the Lord. No pagan God is like you, O Lord. None can do what you do. All of the nations you made will come and bow before you, Lord. They will praise your holy name for you are great and perform wonderful deeds. You alone are the God of miracles. Teach me your ways, O Lord, that I may live according to your truth. With all my heart, I will praise you, O Lord, my God. I will give glory to your name forever, for your love for me is very great. You have rescued me from the depths of death. But you, O Lord, are a God of compassion and mercy, slow to get angry, and filled with unfailing love and faithfulness. Oh, how great is our God and how worthy of praise. He is the God of miracles, signs, and wonders. Praise and lift his name up today.